Hello, Namaskar, good afternoon. Welcome to NCRE's live interactive session. This is Simran Singh. And you are all watching us on PME Vidya channel number 9. You can also connect with us to our YouTube channel that you all know. It's NCERT official. So viewers, just as you can see on your watch, it's about 3 p.m. on your watches. And for the next half an hour, we are going to discuss about the fundamental unit of life part 2 for class 9th students. Well, viewers from any other class, if you have connected with us for this conversation, this is going to be a really interesting and productive session for all of you. As in the conversation, we have with us our expert for today's session, Mr. Sushil Kumar. Namaskar, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. A very warm welcome Abhinandam. in the session. Yes. Ji, sir. Bahut yes, swagat hai aapka. Sir is yes, PGD Biology from Kendriya Vidyale Aliganj, Lucknow, has joined in from Uttar Pradesh. Throughout our live interactive session, if you have any of the queries, so write to us in the comment section of NCRE official. Besides, here is our contact number flashing on your screens. You may also give us a call at 8800-440-559. हम पूरी कोशिश करेंगे कि आपके सभी सवालों को शामिल करें अपने इस सत्र के दौरान पर यदि आपके कोई भी ऐसे सवाल रह जाते हैं जिनका जवाब हम आप तक ना पहुंचा पाए अपने इस सत्र के दौरान तो एक मेल आईडी पर भी आप अपने सवाल हमें लिख कर भेज सकते हैं अपने सुझाव भी भेज सकते हैं हमारा मेल आईडी है डी टी एच डॉट क्लास नाइन एट द रेट सी आई ई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन तो जैसा कि हमने चर्चा की कि आज हम बातचीत करेंगे इस टॉपिक पर जो है द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ पार्ट टू दिस मीन्स द पार्ट वन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक हैज बिन कंडक्टेड बाई सी आई टी एन सी आर ई इन केस इफ यू हैव एंट वॉच आर सेशन देन यू डोंट हैव टू वरी बिकॉज ऑल आर वीडियोज आर लिंक्स आर ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल ऑन एन सी आर ई ऑफिशियल तो चलिए सर आगाज करते हैं आज के इस सत्र का और मैं आपसे निवेदन करना चाहूंगी कि सबसे पहले पार्ट वन के बारे में एक ब्रीफ दे देते हैं इंट्रोडक्शन दे देते हैं अपने सभी स्टूडेंट्स को देन वी कैन प्रोसीड विद टूडे टॉपिक यस मैम सभी बच्चों का अभिनंदन जो एनसीआईटी के जो पी एम विद्या चैनल को देख रहे हैं सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस डेट द एवरी ऑर्गेनिज्म डेट इज फाउंड ऑन द अर्थ इज मेड अप ऑफ स्मॉल स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट डेट इज नोन एज सेल सो जस्ट एज ए बिल्डिंग इज मेड अप ऑफ ब्रिक द बॉडी ऑफ दी आर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज मेड अप ऑफ दी सेल द बिल्डिंग दो built of similar brick have different design shape and size similarly in the living organism in the living world organism from one another but all are made up of cell and uh, the uh, the scientist or the person who is study the cell is known as cytologist and the branch of the science which deals with the study of cell is known as cytology so uh, in the last session we have discussed in detail that there are various gadget by the help of Those gadget, we will be able to understand the cell in a deeper way. So, uh, because the cells are too small to be seen by naked eye, so we have to uh, take the help of the microscope. So, microscope are the high resolution instrument that are used for the detail of very small objects. So, in the last session. we have discussed about there is a cell theory and uh, uh, we have also discussed about the various type of these organism that, uh, that have the cell so in the world there is the largest cell that belong to the ostrich egg and the smallest cell it belong to the mycoplasma and the longest cell in our body is the nerve cell so friends today we are going to discuss about in detail so let us start our journey so as soon as the life become possible on the earth so on the earth there is a uh, two group of the organism have been seen so first of all the unicellular organism uh, were originated so unicellular organism been kept in the kingdom protista so the example of the unicellular organism is like eugenina amoeba paramecium as well as there are after some time after the due course of the evolution there is origin of the multicellular organism like plant kingdom as well as animal kingdom places the uh, multicellular living organism so uh, let us uh, discuss in detail uh, about the unicellular organism so as the unicellular organism the name uni means one cellular means uh, cell so is are the organism which is composed of the single cell so single cell constitute the structure and entire function of the organism so in the nature there are so many organisms 
like one organism that is known as amoeba another organism that is known as paravishyam and uh, another organism that is known as euglena so these are the organism which belong to the category of the unicellular organism so uh, as soon as uh, we will uh, Uh, there is the origin of the multicellular organism as uh, the evolution takes place so multicellular multi means many and cellular means cell so the organism which are composed of many cell uh, are kept in the multicellular organism and in these organism there is the division of the level can be seen as well as uh, the example is concerned so uh, there are the plants animals human beings are the uh, favorite example so uh, like me like simran ma'am and like you people uh, those who are hearing or those who are watching uh, yani vidya uh, this channel so uh, we are organism and we are made up of many organ system so in our body in the organ system there are uh, so many organs are found and organs are made up of by various tissues and various these two which are made up by the many cells so in this way uh, cell together with form the tissue and tissue form the organ and organ form the organ system and uh, organ systems uh, finally constitute the organism so we are the multicellular organism so uh, the, uh, if in the examination there uh, is a the question being asked like please write down the difference between unicellular versus multicellular organism So, student, now I am confirmed that you will be able to give the answer of this question. So, let us move to the uh, next topic that is known as type of the cell. So, on the basis of the presence of nucleus or the organization of the cell, so the cells are maybe of two type. One category is known as prokaryotic cell, and another one is known as eukaryotic cell. So, if the if the word prokaryotic is concerned so pro means primitive or first or karyon means nucleus so uh, such type of the cell did not have uh, definite nucleus uh, they did not have the membrane bound organelle so such type of the cell belong to the prokaryotic category and uh, the favorite example is the bacteria and uh, there is another category of this cell uh, that belong to the eukaryotic category so u means uh, true and karyon means uh, uh, nucleus so uh, eukaryotic uh, organism or uh, have the true nucleus and membrane bound organelles are also present and it is seen that the eukaryotes have much more uh, larger size in comparison to the prokaryote so uh, you will be able to understand by the help of this uh, uh, this uh, diagram that is uh, reflecting in my slide so uh, now uh, uh, in many uh, in uh, in the examination we have been asked a question please make a neat and clean diagram of a typical prokaryotic cell so the answer of the typical prokaryotic cell is the bacteria so when you will be uh, uh, now you will be able to understand that the bacteria is a prokaryotic cell so uh, please make this diagram in your examination and you will be able to see there is no definite nucleus and uh, such type of the primitive nucleus is known as nucleoid or incipient nucleus and there are absence of the membrane bound organelle in the prokaryotic cell so uh, let us move to the eukaryotic cell so uh, most of the advanced organism comes under the category of the eukaryotic cell so uh, cells is surrounded by well defined membrane and there is a defined nucleus is found and inside the nucleus there is a Uh, thread like various entangled structure known as chromatin and chromatin condenses to form the chromosome and chromosomes are made up of dna so dna is the heredity material or we can say the nuclear material and dna stand for deoxy ribonucleic acid uh, so uh, uh, if we uh, do the uh, comparison of the eukaryotic cell with the typical bacterial cell or world smallest cell that is the pplo or a uh, mycoplasma or uh, uh, there are the acellular organism like uh, viruses so 
uh, now you will be able to understand that the typical eukaryotic cell is much much uh, have the much much uh, large size in comparison to the typical bacterial cell or PPLO or viruses. So uh, now uh, uh, let us uh, discuss about the various organelles uh, that are found in the cell. So uh, organelles are the structure that uh, enables the cell to live, uh, to grow and to reproduce. And uh, in this way, uh, uh, various functions being performed uh, by the cell with the help of the organelle. So in the cell, are different organelles are found. So uh, these organelles may be the mitochondria, these may be lysosome, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosome, Golgi complex, and uh, nucleus. So let us discuss these organelles one by one. So uh, first of all, I would like to tell you about the cytoplasm. So cytoplasm is a thick solution composed of water, salt and proteins that fills the cell and uh, it is usually surrounded by cell membrane and uh, in the center of the cytoplasm there is a prominent structure known as nucleus is found and we can say the nucleus is surrounded by the cytoplasm. So, uh, cyto, uh, you will be able to see in this uh, uh, figure uh, in, in the slide that in the center there is a prominent rounded oval shaped structure that is known as nucleus and it is surrounded by the cytoplasm and uh, in the cytoplasm there are various cell organelles are found. So, uh, let us uh, discuss about the outermost membrane that surround the cell that is known as plasma membrane. And so uh, plasma membrane as it is con uh, concerned, it is known as unit membrane or it is known as biological membrane also. So it is the outermost covering of the cell and uh, it is uh, at uh, selective permeable nature. It has the selective permeable nature because uh, plasma membrane prevent movement of the some material. So it is seen that through the plasma membrane some substance are allowed to pass through it but not all substance that is why it is known as selectively permeable or semi permeable membrane. And the plasma membrane since uh, found outside so it acts as a gate. So uh, plasma membrane help in diffusion and osmosis and as the structure of the plasma membrane is concerned so uh, you will be able to see in the slide that the plasma membrane is consists of lipid and protein so uh, you uh, can say that it is the bilayer structure of lipid and protein so uh, in the, in the in between the lipid there are the proteins are found so there are usually uh, two type of protein one is known as extrinsic protein that is the uh, the protein that is found towards the superficial or surface end and uh, another protein is known as intrinsic protein so lipid and protein togetherly form the plasma membrane and uh, uh, nature of the plasma membrane is selectively permeable or semi permeable and it acts as a gate. So uh, now uh, discuss about the another structure that so is So while known discussing as about plasma membrane, we have come across this term known as diffusion and osmosis. So could you yeah. elaborate to our viewers about osmosis? Yes. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, plasma mem through the plasma membrane, various transport mechanisms takes place like diffusion, like osmosis, like facilitated diffusion. So as the osmosis is concerned, so osmosis is, is the movement of solvent particle across a semi-permeable membrane or selectively permeable membrane that is the plasma membrane. So uh, from the dilute solution into a concentrated solution. So we can say if uh, uh, we, we separate uh, the dilute solution from the concentrated solution through the plasma membrane, 
then there will be the movement of the solvent particle takes place from the dilute solution to the concentrated solution hum samajh sakte hain is prakar se ki the solvent moves to the dilute the concentrated solution and equalizes the concentration on both sides of the membrane the movement of liquid in and out of the cell is dependent on the concentration of the solution surrounding it so uh, if uh, we uh, would uh, like to discuss the significance of the plasma membrane so one of the best significance is the movement, the absorption of water from the soil is due to the osmosis uh, the plant root have a higher concentration then the soil so therefore the water flows from the soil to the root and the guard cell of the plant are also affected by the osmosis students in in the future even uh, in when you will be in the class 11 so there is an experiment uh, that is the A study of the osmosis by the help of the potato osmometer or a potato ko aap loge usko ek cup ki tarah mein khokla karke aur usme phir aap osmosis ki study kar sakte hain sugar solution ko leke aur phir water solution ko bahar leke aur aap is prakar se movement dekh sakte hain so uh, you can also do the experiment with the help of potato osmometer or osmocup experiment so now uh, uh, we are going to discuss about the nucleus and the study of the nucleus is known as karyology so uh, nucleus is known as the control center of the whole plant or cell uh, uh, we can say the cell the control center of the cell in the nucleus or we can say it is the central processing unit cpu of the cell so uh, Uh, it is also known as brain of the cell like uh, in our body whole functions are regulated by the brain or they are directed by the brain similarly uh, nucleus also helping in the uh, directing of the various function so uh, as the nucleus is concerned so nucleus is a small round and membrane bound structure and it is found in the usually center of a cell in the animal case and in the plant it is slightly eccentric in the position because center is occupied by the vacuole and uh, the fluid that is found in the nucleus is called nucleoplasm and the membrane that surround the nucleus is double membrane and it is known as karyotheca or nuclear membrane so nucleus play a central role i have already it discussed in the uh, most of the activity that takes place inside the cell so in the nucleus uh, nucleus con uh, contains there are so many thread like structure that entangle each other and these structure are known as chromatin material which get condensed into the chromosome and the chromosome contains the uh, information for inheritance of feature from parent to next generation in the form of deoxy ribonucleic acid and protein molecule that is the uh, 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 a message uh, they carry from one generation to another generation so uh, we can say the functional segment of dna is known as gene or we can say the functional segment of dna that code for a functional protein is known as gene so uh, let us move to the other cell organelle so uh, one of the important cell organelle that is found inside the cell it is known as mitochondria so uh, usually these uh, structure looks like thread because mito means thread so uh, in the cell they are found as a thread so previously uh, the name is suggested as a mitochondria and it is now reported that it is a most important cell organelle because it helps in the Uh, uh, providing the energy in the cell uh, by the energy uh, the cell is able to do various works that is why it is known as power center of the cell or electric company of the cell 
the singular of the mitochondria is known as mitochondrion so uh, it is seen that the mitochondria is a bigger uh, cell organelle in yeah sushil sir yes. we have lost your audio yeah you may continue yes yes yes, yes ma'am so outer membrane is very porous and the inner membrane is deeply folded creating a large surface area there are so many finger like processes are found that are known as cristi so on the cristi uh, uh, it is seen that there is the oxidative phosphorylation takes place by which adenosine triphosphate molecule is synthesized and uh, it is known as energy currency of the cells so uh, in the mitochondria the atp synthesis takes place that is why mitochondria are called as powerhouse of the cell uh, one unique thing that is seen in the mitochondria mitochondria have their own dna and ribosome therefore they can make their own protein that why it is known as semi autonomous organelle in the cell uh, let us uh, Uh, no more about mitochondria so student you will be able yes, to yes sir before we that. proceed in the conversation just a small piece of information for you in the conversation we are left by the last 5 minutes yes yes ma'am so uh, let move to the another uh, another cell organelle so uh, that is known as plastid so these are also double membrane bound structure and it is only present in plant cell student please note down plastids are only present in the plant cell and plastid have their own dna and ribosome therefore it is plastid the membrane is called thylakoid and uh, the ground substance that is surrounded by the membrane in the plastid is known as stoma so there are two type of the plastid one is known as chromoplast and another known as leucoplast so the the word chroma means color so these are viewers if you have any of the queries in this conversation then you can write to us at this mail id that is flashing on your screens it is dth.class9 at the rate ciet.nic.in and here we were discussing about the fundamental unit of life part 2 for the science session yes. of class 9 students yeah yes so, i hope we have uh, get back to him yes yes so yes sir you may continue i'll request you to please wrap up your words in just two minutes yes yes yeah so class contains green pigment that is chlorophyll and it help in the photosynthesis and leucoplast that are white or colorless plastid store material such as oil protein and fat so chloroplast are found usually in the green part of the plant like leaf and the green color of the leaf is due to presence of a chlorophyll due to which plants looks like green there are another site of plasma uh, there is another cell organelle that is known as golgi complex so uh, it help in the packaging of the cell and uh, it is first of all discovered by the camillo golgi and it is a system of the membrane bound vesicle called cystine and the uh, golgi body function uh, is the storage modification and packaging of the cell there is another cell organelle that is known as endoplasmic reticulum so uh, it uh, usually uh, start to extend from the nucleus by the plasma membrane that is why it is known as endoplasmic and it form the network like structure that is why it is known as reticulum so it help in the transportation system of the cell there are two type of endoplasmic reticulum one is known as rough endoplasmic reticulum so such type of endoplasmic reticulum contains ribosome and rough endoplasmic reticulum help in the photo, in the synthesis of the protein there are another endoplasmic reticulum that is known as smooth endoplasmic reticulum that help in the synthesis of the lipid there are one more cell organelle that is known as lysosomes so these cell organelle digest food particles that is why they are known as garbage men and they are also known as suicidal bag of the cell because these are sac like structure in a cell that surround membrane and when the cell get damaged lysosome may burst and the enzyme digest their own cell hence called as suicidal bag there are some smallest structure that are uh, known as ribosome 
and these are the cell organelles which help in the protein synthesis. Means they are uh, the organelles which uh, are responsible for formation of the protein. So, uh, in the plant cell, there are some larger structure known as vacuole, and these vacuole store water, food, and waste. And vacuole is the largest organelle in the plant cell. And uh, in the animal cell, they are uh, either the vacuoles are absent, and if present, they are very small in uh, in shape. So, or shape and size. So, uh, 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 now in the last, you will be able to distinguish. Which cell are found in the plant and which are found in the animal? So in the plant, there are the chloroplast and cell wall is found. So cell wall is a dead structure. It is formed by cellulose and it provides rigidity to the plant. And it is only and only found in the plant cell, as well as plastid and chloroplast are found in the plant cell. And the nucleus, mitochondria, lysosome, endoplasmic reticulum cell membrane, ribosome, vacuole, so these organelles are, uh, we have already discussed. So these are the, we would like to defense, or we would like to do defense. Yes, sir, so I am sure that our viewers cell. will be able to make that difference between plant cell and animal cells. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much so, for explaining about this significant topic to all our viewers. Yes. And sir, I would like to apologize like the content is really vast, but we have certain time constraints. So I'll have to wrap up this session due to paucity of time. But thank yes, you so yes. much, so, sir. Al almost the topic has been finished. And uh, uh, this is the question. You can write down, students, and you can solve. And uh, uh, there is answer also yes, being sir. given. I am so sure that our friends. viewers and our students watching this session will be coming up with their answers. Yes. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks a lot for being a part of this conversation to all our viewers and thanks to sir as well. So viewers, we will discuss about our next and upcoming topic as well. But here we have this session for the fundamental unit of life part 2 for class 9 students and the session was for science. Stay connected to NCRE and wait for our coming session. Namaskar.